we are going to be doing lesson 2.2 .2 in our fourth grade Florida Go Math book. Lesson 2.2 .2 is asking us to figure out how models help us to solve comparison problems. So remember another word for model is a picture. So we're trying to figure out how drawing a picture like this will help us to solve a multiplication comparison problem. So what we're going to start out with is reading this first problem and working through the steps to solve it. So this problem says Evan's dog weighs seven times as much as Oxana's dog. Together the dogs weigh 72 pounds. How much does Evan's dog weigh? First thing I want to do is go through this problem and underline my math words and numbers. So the first thing that I come across is the first information that I'm going to need to use is seven times as much as Oxana's dog. Together, so when I put Oxana's dog and Evan's dog, together they're going to weigh 72 pounds. That's all the math that I know. Right now, it doesn't tell me how much Evan's dog weighs or even how much Oxana's dog weighs. So when we don't know something, if it leaves out some information, we use a letter to represent what we don't know. In this case, it's telling us to use N to represent what we don't know. So it says, think in your head, let N represent how much Oxana's dog weighs because they didn't tell us. But we do know together the two dogs weigh 72 pounds. So they've already started a model for us and we just have to finish it. So they showed us seven times as much as Evan's dog is seven times as much as Oxana's dog. So here's Oxana's dog. That box right there. This one must be Oxana's because it's smaller. And this one must be Evan's because it's bigger. And we know Evan's dog is seven times bigger than Oxana's dog. So here's Oxana's little dog. We don't know how much Oxana's dog weighs. So since we don't know, we're going to put it in in there. It didn't tell us. But we do know Evan's dog is seven times as big as Oxana's. So I'm going to make seven boxes that are the same size as Oxana's dog. So if you count all these boxes, it's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now it doesn't tell us how much Evan's dog weighs. We don't know. So we also have to put ins into this box as well these boxes, sorry. So, so far we don't know any of this stuff so we're just putting ends in all the boxes and uh, the letter that represents what we don't know. Something's wrong with my pen. Let me try to fix this here. Okay, it's looking a little weird. Just ignore that. Okay. So then the last bit of information that it gave us was it told us that together, together the dogs weigh 72 pounds. So if I add this whole row and this row, together it's going to be 72 pounds. So I can write that 72 in there. Alright, so the next step is to figure out what all these ends are. So the way that I do that is I take my model and I change it into an equation. So this sentence says, blank times n equals blank. So the equals is the all together part. So I can write 72 in that part. I do know that. Now to figure out this number right here, what times n equals 72, all I have to do is count all my boxes because all of them together give me 72. So we know Evan has seven boxes plus Oxana's one box that's eight boxes full of n's, so eight times n equals 72. It says you can think that there are eight parts and the parts together equal 72. So eight times what equals 72? So it tells us here that the value of n is nine. The way that they got that was they counted by eights until they got up to 72. So 8, 16, 24, and so on and so on until they got to 72. It took them 9 times of counting by 8s to get to 72. So if they don't tell you the answer, that's what you'll have to do in your head. Count
count by eights until you get to 72. 8, 16, 24, 32, on and on until you get to 72. It takes nine times. So now we have an equation that says 8 times 9 equals 72. That 9 right there, that can replace all of our ends. We now know what our ends are. So you can go back up here, you can cross out all these ends, and you can write 9. They're all equal to 9. So Oxana's dog weighs 9 pounds. And then Emin's dog is going to be 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9. Or 9 times 7 because there's 7 boxes full of it. So we know we can transfer that right down here. Evan's dog is 9 times 7, and 9 times 7 is 63. So there's one part that I left out up here, and that says N is how much Oxana's dog weighs. I'll just put ox. How much Oxana's dog weighs. So this guy up here, now we've solved the problem, he weighs 9 pounds, and this guy up here weighs 63 pounds. So if I were to add 63 plus 9, it should give us 72, which is what it told us in the problem to begin with, 63. Okay, so hopefully you can see that drawing a model helps you to solve a comparison multiplication problem. I hope this helps with lesson 2.2. If you have any questions, just go ahead and leave me a message. Thank you.